Imagine this. You walk outside one day to find someone shot your beloved pet with a bow and arrow. That happened to a woman who lives inside the Mobile City limits, and she wants justice. News 5's Emily DeVoe has a story you will see only on News 5. I never imagined it would have been that. It's tough for Paula Juan to talk about what happened to her cat, Lewis, a few nights ago. She found the cat behind her backyard fence with this 30-inch hunting arrow sticking out of his leg. It's not right to shoot domestic animals in the city limits. She and her husband quickly drove the cat to the vet, where an x-ray shows the arrow traveled all the way through the cat's body, shattering his left femur. As if by some miracle it missed his vital organs by less than an inch. Lewis is finally recovering, but his leg was amputated in the process. It's okay, Mom, I promise. Days later, Paula wants justice. That is the goal, to prevent this, to, this happening to a, another innocent animal. You know, that's not right. Mobile police are investigating to find out who's responsible. That person could be charged with a Class C felony for animal cruelty. Paula believes it's someone who lives nearby. We've had animals, our beloved pets, disappear and never know what happened to them. And now I think I know why. She's asking if anyone has information or surveillance video that could lead to an arrest to come forward. I won't stop fighting until he's, till there's justice for Lewis. In Mobile, Emily DeVoe, News 5. The cat was shot off Lloyd's Lane near Cottage Hill Road last week. If you can help identify the shooter, please call Mobile Police.